the next is Jim Waldorf, followed by Terry Zimdars, and then Ian Ellis. Okay. City Council, um, before you acquire this specific use site, you need to come up with an appraisal policy. And I brought this to your attention, Phil Cotton's attention, going back to November 2006, uh, a few months after you acquired the uh, Mossy Chevrolet property. I, I reviewed the appraisal report after the deal was done. And, and, and the city had ordered a restricted appraisal report, which is a appraisal report not meant to be reviewed. And, and if there was an appraisal policy and an appraisal review person, he would have reviewed the report, he would have asked the <coughs> appraiser who did the initial report to redo the report, so it was a summary report or a self-contained report, the type of report that's meant to be reviewed. And, and uh, so then after looking at that report, I went back, to, I looked at the Hall property report. In the Hall property report, the, there was, the appraiser had six comparable land sales. Well, five of them were one to three acres in size. So five of them really weren't comparable land sales. There was one comparable land sale of about 25 to 30 acres. So again, if, if uh, another appraiser reviewed the report, they would have asked the appraiser, go back out and find three or four more comparable land sales so you can do a proper analysis. The, the, the city has, has not come up with an appraisal review policy and before you acquire this property, you're, you need to have something in, in writing so that you, you order the right type of appraisal report, you have it reviewed by another party outside of city staff, because city staff has seen these, uh, the Hall property report, the Mossy property report, and they didn't reject them. Um, I, I think if you, you had a, a good policy, you, you would get, um, you, I don't know if you get better values, but at least we'd know we're buying, we're paying the right price for property. I, I think the Mossy property was, was overpriced. Coincidentally, at the same time in Carlsbad Car Country, another dealership sold for $6.2 million. And, and, and it's a, a nicer facility, about the same size, but I mean, that, that showed me that maybe we overpaid for that. No, I don't mind you overpaying for property that you need as long as you know it. That's a decision you can make, but uh, you know, let's know what these properties are really worth before we acquire them, and, and we need to have an appraisal policy along with review policy and make sure we, we're getting competent, good work. Thank you. Terry Zim